Welcome to a new video and Dr. Mickey. Today we need to learn how to extract the bacterial DNA. Actually, we have three major steps to extract the bacterial DNA. The first is the cell lysis to break down the bacterial cell wall to release the DNA. The second is the DNA precipitation. The third is the DNA purification. Actually, to extract the DNA, you can use the DNA extraction kit or maybe you can use inorganic buffer. Actually, the inorganic buffer, this is a very simple method, but maybe it takes longer time than the extraction kit. Today, we need to extract the bacterial DNA using TE buffer. So the first step we have today, this is the cell lysis or break down the bacterial cell wall to release the DNA. So this method depends on the freezing and the dry heating. The freezing may be within uh, minus 20 to minus 30 degrees Celsius. And the dry heating it depends on the temperature increases up to 90 degrees to 95 degrees Celsius. The second step after the release the DNA, you need to precipitate the DNA. We can precipitate the DNA using the centrifugation up to 13,000 RPM. The third method after you precipitate the DNA is the purification of DNA. How pure your DNA you are extracted? We can determine our DNA purification using a nanodrop spectrophotometer. So, how to extract the bacterial DNA using a TE buffer will be start shortly.
Good day, ladies and gentlemen. So today I got a question for you all. What is the tea buffer? All right. So firstly, we need to understand tea buffer is known as a very common buffer that used in molecular biology. So normally we use this during the procedure involving DNA, cDNA, or RNA. All right. So what is the real definition of this tea buffer? So we need to understand what is the meaning of tea. Tea is known as the tris, which is a common pH buffer, whereas the E is known as the EDTA, which is a molecule that used to chelate cations such as magnesium ions. Thank you. So good day everyone. My name is Chow. So today my question is, why is it important to extract DNA on ice? So basically by using the ice cold water, it will increase the yield of DNA. And also the cold condition will protect the DNA by slowing down the enzymes that will break it. And these enzymes are present in the cell cytoplasm, but not the nucleus. Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Uncle Eun. So now I would like to ask you guys a question. Why is Tris buffer used for DNA extraction? The answer of this question is DNA is pH sensitive during cell lysis, removal of unwanted cellular components and precipitation. Trees is used to maintain the pH stability as well. Thank you, see you again, bye! Good day everyone, my name is Lau. Now I will ask a question. 
What is the purpose of dry heater at 95 degrees Celsius in DNA extraction? The answer is the heat softens the cell wall and membrane, so the DNA is released, and also denature the enzyme in the mixture so that can degrade DNA. Longer heating can denature the DNA. Thank you. Hello and good day. My name is Dr. Manaf. Today I'm going to explain you why we are going to use nanodrop spectrophotometry. Actually, we are going to use nanodrop spectrophotometry mainly for you for measuring the DNA, RNA, and proteins, measuring the purity and the quantity. So, for DNA, the acceptable purity for DNA would be between 1.7 to 2 nanometer using 260 over 280 nanometer. If the purity of DNA less than 1.6, that means we couldn't use this DNA due to the high contamination of it. Thank you. Okay, this is the end of our video. So thank you for watching. Thanks my group research members. And please don't forget to share, share like, like, and subscribe. subscribe. And activate the bell to reach our new videos. Thank you. Good luck. And bye-bye.